Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And this is going to be the start of week 8, which means we have the week 7 vault to open up. Hard to believe we're already two months into this raid tier. It feels like just yesterday we started this series. If you guys still like this series and you'd like me to continue it into uh, future seasons, please let me know. Leave me some comments down below. And let me know what you guys got in your vault. And if you are a part of my Discord, there is an invite link down in the description of the video. Uh, share it with my friends over there as well. I'd love to see all of the amazing items you guys are getting uh, so all right so i have three mythic track items from mythic plus we did some of the highest keys that we've done all expansion long uh, this last week so i hope you guys will check those out and i will be doing full um, rundowns of each and every one of those and what my marksman hunter brain is thinking about those should be uh, probably out once a day so i hope you guys will check that out and if you want me to continue to do that in the future let me know in those videos. So, all right, so three mythic track spots and three uh, heroic track spots. So hopefully uh, we get something good. So make sure we are set to marksman specialization, which we are, hand up, block the screen, let's do this. So hope you guys had a great new year and a great uh, holiday season, regardless of what you uh, celebrate. So, all right, so first thing up, we have the inflammable, <laughs> Drape Leaf, which we've had in this spot like three different times now. That's pretty crazy. That's off of Gnarl Root. Then we have the uh, Eye of the Rising Flame. It's a very heavy uh, mastery neck piece. It's a good neck piece. And the final one is going to be the Coiled Serpent Idol, which is actually uh, a pretty great trinket for single target, but we don't really need single target trinkets now since we have uh, Wither Bark and also Pips from last week. So, all right, Mythic Items. Here we go. Here we go. First one up, we have the Soul Torn Fury Cinch, another belt in this spot. It's a pretty good belt. Uh, however, that's where our uh, one of our embellishment is, where our blue silk lining is. So next item is Lord Waycrest Signet. Mm, not really worth it. So all right, we have one shot left. One shot. Here we go. And the last one is shoulders so all right i will take this uh so what i'm going to be picking out of my vault we're not going to get tokens this week at least not yet it's going to be these shoulders because they're going to be mythic track shoulders and if you guys watched my video last week it was between mythic shoulders and pips so i ended up picking pips last week mythic shoulders reappear this week so we're going to pick up the shadow archer spalders which will then become tier thanks to the catalyst so that will uh, up my item level of my shoulders just a little bit there in fact i only have 476 shoulders so that's going to be a 13 item level upgrade i'm going to go ahead and pick those up i hope you guys have a wonderful uh start to 2024 i hope you guys get something really great in your vault that's all I've got here. We're going to throw it over to future me and see how much damage we did. Hopefully got closer to 3k Raider IO uh, this uh, coming week. And what didn't you guys know? We met here once again on a Monday evening or mo more like Monday night at this point. Two months into the tier already. I swear these weeks go by faster and faster. Uh, a large part of that is because I'm having so much fun. Uh, we've continue to clear content we've got aotc keystone hero and knocking the on the door of 3k uh, io score which is absolutely crazy i haven't done that in a long time uh, so i'm hoping uh, that that will happen this next coming week but i don't know what the affixes are just yet i've heard they're not very good though uh, the reason i bring up how, how much fun i'm having for season three is because we have the opportunity to make season four the meme season four have the same uh, tier bonuses and there is a link up uh, on Wowhead for you guys to vote. I will put the information down in the description of the video at the very top and then also the pinned comment. I hope you guys will pick season three's tier set bonus. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's a lot more engaging than previously, uh, but I will admit it is a lot more borrowed power that we are going to feel real bad if we don't have it. Uh, and uh, we'll have to just have War Within tackle that. Uh, we'll see what Blizzard has in store for us. But uh, looking at this week, and this one will probably be a little bit shorter than normal videos, I didn't get too many upgrades. Actually, was mousing over things. I just realized I haven't upgraded my chest yet. What the heck am I doing, me? Uh, I need to upgrade this. So I'll probably go upgrade it as soon as the video is done. I did end up going with the shoulders, so I turned those into tier shoulders. So I have tier gloves tier shoulders and then a apparently subpar chest piece and a helm uh, so hopefully i can get those replaced i guess i did upgrade the helm because this one has speed on it so 
<laughs> rocking 18 percent speed at this point uh, but there's not too many more upgrades that i can really get i'm using the ember of nullification and mythic plus to make my uh make me a little bit beefier that's why you see 12 percent versatility there i didn't upgrade the boots either i need to do that i'm slacking i didn't do a ton of keys uh this week until like the last couple of days i've been kind of um sick so hopefully we can get over that and get back to uh <laughs> back to our regular scheduled programming here on my channel uh, and then let's go ahead and take a look i have a full vault did a 24 key that's absolutely crazy uh so here we go my mythic plus rating at the end of week eight is 2922 uh so this was the tyrannical volcanic and sanguine week we didn't have too much problems with sanguine so nice job to both teach and zaf for making sure uh, we didn't have too much uh, extra sanguine healing i did do that 24 black rose cold and i have an entire new series on the channel they'll still be in my mythic plus uh, playlist but i do entire breakdowns of my mythic plus runs this one which was the plus 24 black rock hold will be on there <laughs> i had a lot of learning to do particularly on the second boss and i'm not afraid to show you guys uh videos where i screw up and i don't do very well uh and we still timed the key and the group was very gracious so i appreciate them allowing me to come to their key uh i have a lot of work to do and black rock hold is something i want to get into on a tyrannical again probably here in two weeks so i can see if i've made any progress on that uh, but we did a lot of keys uh in these last couple of days got some 22s on the board 24 so so as for a tyrannical week, I missed out on a rise. I still have that 17 rise on the on the board, but a lot of 21s through 22s and 24s on there. Hopefully we'll maybe we'll get a 23 next week so we can get that get some representation on there and then get rid of that uh, 17. But we jumped up, I think, almost another 100 points this week. That's not normal, uh, but we did eliminate one of the 18s, which was, I believe, my uh, Dark Heart Thicket. Turned that into a 21. I would love to turn the 17 into a uh, 20 or higher, uh, but we'll have to wait for two more weeks for that. So hopefully I can get something that will be uh, replacing one of these current items in my uh, my set. I don't really need anything for single target for raid unless I'm going to try some mythic once the um, mythic opens up to uh, all realms and all servers, I should say. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty much max build other than a few, you know, oh, let's upgrade this nine item or six item levels. Uh, I did upgrade the cloak, I guess. I forgot to mention that earlier. I went with a versatility mastery cloak just because it was a higher item level and it gave me a little bit more versatility and more um, survivability in my build. Uh, we're probably going to be picking... Um, sockets here relatively soon unless i get a weapon out of my vault which by the way blizzard that would be kind of fun maybe get a weapon we'll just have to wait and see that or the neck piece because that thing is dropped in my vault like i don't know the last three weeks same way with that one male male belt uh but that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys had a wonderful end of 2023 and a wonderful 2024 thus far i hope you guys get what you want in your vault and i hope you guys can reach for the stars get as many keys done and push yourself to see if you can be the best player regardless of marksman hunter mage warlock dk whatever you play uh, i hope you guys uh, smash it out of the park have a great week this coming week be sure and vote regardless of if you vote for season three's affixes or excuse me uh tier set or not go vote and uh, hopefully we can have some fun for season four so thank you guys for watching be sure and check out my uh full walkthroughs of my uh, latest mythic plus runs and i'll see you next time Thank you.